Hi everybody, good evening. Uh, thank you so much for your time, your interest to attend this webinar. Really appreciate it. For the next one hour, we will share and discuss about a uh, topic webinar tonight is uh, build email server with Linux. Is it okay my voice there? Yeah, yeah, sure. Or, oh, okay. So, okay. Um, and during the webinar, if you have any question, you may drop the message in the chat box or unmute yourself and ask question directly. So by the end of the webinar, we hope that you will get something good, positive, and useful to improve your skill and knowledge. So introduce you to the speaker tonight, Mas Ahmad Madiansa. He is a founder of AGLC Networks. He is also a trainer, mentor, and consultant for an ITNSP also has a more uh, experience in more than 10 years in domestic and overseas project. Uh, are you ready with the all slide, Mas Ahmad? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Thank okay, you and enjoy great. the webinar. Right, so guys, thank you for coming. Uh, so today we'll be talking about another topic, uh, which I think is quite interesting. That is uh, building uh, email server or email service with Linux. So yeah, uh, so, so we'll be talking about how to build the, uh, uh, so before we do that, uh, of course, uh, we have several components here, the emails and then the server and then the Linux, okay. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So these are the date agenda, as I said, I uh, will be talking about the, how email system works. Okay, what are the components of the uh, email ser service and then, of course, after that, we'll be talking about how we build the email server with Linux. Uh, so tonight, because we just only have one hour, um, so at least uh, we can develop um, uh, an email service, uh, a simple email service, uh, so that uh, we can send and receive email from, from other server. Uh, you can join as well. Um, I will give you an uh, access to our um, our server here uh, later uh, when we do the uh, live live practice. Okay, so yeah, make sure uh, you are already know how to access a uh, server with uh, SSH. Uh, I will give you a username and then the password and then the the port. Okay, and then the the address as well. So with that, uh, we can try to send and receive email from other, uh, other um, email server. Okay, so I will, I will share the access later, uh, but first uh, we need to know about the email server itself. Uh, before we going further, uh, I would like to introduce ourselves. We are GLC Networks based in Bandung, Indonesia. Uh, we are uh, doing uh, consulting and training. Uh, we also, we do uh, Microtik, Ubiquiti uh, networking stuff, uh, not only Microtik, but mostly our, our tasks are Microtik based. <laughs> uh, also um, Linux, uh, we also doing uh, development, uh, programming stuff. Uh, we develop our own Radius Manager, uh, which has uh, lots of integration with uh, vendor and uh, billing. So not only uh, managing the uh, technical things, but also for uh, a payment side. Okay, my name is Ahmad. I'm based in Bandung as well. I'm uh, using Linux since 1999, uh, Microtik, uh, Ubiquiti, Cisco, uh, yeah, many stuff. <laughs> uh, also a trainer, uh, trainer for Microtik, for trainer for Linux. Uh, in, also write some uh, articles. And so also if you have LinkedIn, I would like to connect with you guys and uh, hopefully we can uh, do something better with it. Uh, our past experience, uh, we do like, let, <coughs> as, I, as I said, uh, yeah, most of our uh, tasks were related to networking, like network support, uh, network migrations, network integrations, and so on and so forth in, uh, in uh, Asia, in uh, uh, UK, in uh, Africa. About webinar itself, uh, we started in 2010, 
okay uh it's just for sharing uh, uh, an, uh, an experience uh, knowledge and then we also collaborate with uh, other resources just like what we had a few days ago yeah uh, there were 80 or almost almost 100 or already 90 plus participant already uh, joined the webinar which was uh, very 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 good okay uh, the webinar uh, or in English, either in English or Indonesian. Uh, if you are, if you want to be a speaker here, uh, we are very welcome. So, okay, uh, for yourself, I think uh, some of you already introduced yourself. Thank you very much. I can see some of are from Italy. Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome to the webinar. Uh, if this is your first time, uh, of course, uh, others, majority are from Indonesia. Okay, welcome as well. Uh, guys from Pakistan, is there any country that I haven't mentioned yet? Okay, you can write it high in the group chat. Right, so uh, yeah, the thing is, uh, I would like to say thank you for coming to the webinar. Well, the topic today is about uh, email. Uh, so we assume you uh, that uh, you already understand several uh, topics here. Okay, so first you need to understand how computer works. Okay, computer networking. Okay, at least you know what is IP address. Do you know how to ping? You do know how uh, DNS works. Okay, uh, you can use uh, tools like uh, DIG. Okay, DIG. Okay, not other DIG. <laughs> uh, also, do um, uh, able to do uh, uh, some. Uh, Linux tasks like uh, configuring packets and then so on and so forth. All right. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that was it about the prerequisite. And then uh, moving on. Okay, so we do the review. So, first, uh, at least um, we assume you, you already know some stuff related to our networking and then OST layer. So as we know, uh, when we talk uh, email server, email service is part of the networking, right? So when we talk about networking, we are talking about these layers, okay? So layer one, two, three, four, up to layer seven. So uh, so uh, th this, this layer here, uh, so what, what, what the customer care is the layer seven, right? Like, like, uh, like a DNS, okay, uh, FTP, okay. So those are the application that is familiar to the customer, to the user, okay. But uh, below that, okay, uh, uh, under as the foundation of layer seven here. So uh, actually there are others a layer as well that you need to understand. Uh, I mean, uh, the the knowledge of uh, these um, uh, protocols on each layer is very useful if you are doing troubleshooting. Okay, so if you're just focusing on layer seven, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, it will be uh, good for you for troubleshooting. Okay, because sometimes uh, problem happens in layer three or other layers. Uh, so at least you need to understand um, uh, other protocol as well, okay? So even though uh, our topic today is is only uh, email server, but uh, knowing um, other layers would be very useful for, uh, for the engineers, email server engineers, okay? And then uh, the way we, um, communicate to each other uh, using the layer is by uh, having a encapsulation. So packets from, not packets, uh, so the data from from upper layer, okay, will be passed down here. Okay, so this is your data. And then the, the data will be added uh, by another data. Okay, so this is your original data, for example, uh, what you type on WhatsApp, but uh, 
that's not only the data that you are sending if you are sending out to the network. So the computer that you're using will be adding some information about that. Okay, so like a TCP header, and then from here to here, we it's call it PDU, a protocol data unit. And then uh, if, if this is layer four, okay, L4. Um, uh, if it is a UDP, and we call it datagram. If it is a TCP, we call it segment. And then go along uh, with the encapsulation. We have uh, packets, okay, where you add the IP header in the um, in the previous uh, segment or datagram. And then keep moving. Uh, we have uh, other uh, additional header for layer two. Okay, and then after that, we send it to the network. Okay, so these are the series of encapsulation from end to end. Okay, I got some uh, question here. Can I have this slide? Yes, I uh, will upload the slide in the, our website. Okay, just visit our website, www.plcnetworks.com and then uh, you can uh, see it and the uh, and, uh, yeah thank you admin <laughs> uh, in, the, in your browser okay just just tap or just google glc networks and then you can you can find our our uh, website okay so let's talk about the email system right so this is how email works okay i this is not from me uh, this is from this website. Okay, you can uh, go there and then uh, take a look. Uh, yeah, the, the things, um, you know, uh, uh, for me, um, explaining something in this uh, 21st century uh, where, where uh, lots of information is available uh, makes us lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Previously, I have to create my own picture to, uh, to explain this and that. But now uh, many people already make a, a, a diagram for how, how for for something that explains how it works. Okay, uh, including email. <laughs> so I just uh, yeah. I mean, uh, instead of uh, me writing down my own diagram, I mean I just uh, use their their work. Of course, uh, I have to put the reference where where did I took it. Okay, so actually this is what happened. So this is you wants to send something, uh, wants to send email to the, the, the recipient uh, with different domains, right? Okay, so we call it sender or source. Uh, here's the recipient or the target. So uh, what you do, okay, as an ordinary user, uh, what you just do is the open, uh, open an application, either it's Thunderbird or uh, on your email uh, application on your mobile phone, and then uh, writing down the, the email, uh, the target, the, the recipient's email, and then type the subject, uh, body, and then press button, send, and then the email sent. As simple as that. But actually, when we take a look more detail, so this is what happened. So uh, you when you open a, a, a Outlook email, Outlook, Outlook mail, right? So I, I never use Microsoft. <laughs> yes, I do, I do, uh, but I, I don't, I don't use it often. So just for uh, uh, helping people uh, uh, using it. So I'm, I'm not using. It. I, uh, uh, most, uh, most likely, I'm, I'm using uh, uh, cloud-based applications. Okay, so uh, you open the. Uh, the applications uh, for email. So we call it here is MUA, mail user agent, for example, a Thunderbird. Um, uh, previously, there was a Eudora mail, uh, Outlook Express. Oh, it was very old, yeah. <laughs> um, Bat mails, yeah. Yeah, I still remember that. Uh, Fedora mail, uh, Rocket mail, Lycos.com. Oh, okay, long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> so those are uh, MUA, okay? And then we send from the MUA uh, and then uh, receive, 
we send the email from the MUA to the MTA. MTA is the real server. Okay, so our topic actually is today is the uh, email server. Email server in this case means the MTA. Okay, so uh, email received by the MTA and then sent to the destination, okay, through the internet here. And then at the recipient server, so another MTA as well. Okay, the email is received. And then uh, uh, the destination will either will open the MUA as well and then to check the incoming email. So that's how email works. Okay, so the components are first is the MTA, okay, is the self email server itself. And then inside the MTA, uh, sometimes you have a mail delivery agent, okay, how the agent is delivered the um, email to the uh, user. And of course, is the MUA, a mail user agent, uh, is the software that access this, the email uh, at the MTA, okay. Uh, so MUA can be uh, used, uh, can be accessed locally or remote. Okay, so lo uh, local access means you log in to the MTA directly, and then uh, you open some emails, uh, some email clients like uh, uh, MUTT or uh, Alpin or uh, uh, other stuff. Okay, so after that, uh, you send an email or read the email directly at the uh, email server. Or if you don't, if you're not convenient, so <laughs> Uh, logging into the uh, email server, and then what you can do is to do uh, remote access. Uh, I mean, remote accessing the uh, email uh, using the uh, external software like uh, Thunderbird. Okay. Any questions so far? Looks like everyone okay. <laughs> I hope, I hope so. Okay. So let's continue then. So uh, uh, just like just like web, okay, email server rely heavily on DNS, okay, because what we send is sending an email, and then that email is based on the on the DNS, correct? Yes. So we we never send uh, Ahmad at uh, one dot two dot three dot four. We never use it, right? So we always use Ahmad at jlcnetworks.com, right? So yeah, that's why the DNS is very important for uh, email system. So this is what happened. So are you? I got it from here. You can uh, check it directly. So this is you uh, checking wants to send something to the uh, to the destination. So you are from domain A, want to send email to domain B, okay? So what you doing is uh, you send something, email, to your uh, MTA, uh, your own MTA. So this is, uh, for example, example A is the domain, and then uh, the domain A uh, will do a, a, a IP lookup, okay? So what they are using, what they are looking for is MX, and then the uh, record, M MX record, and then A record here. Okay. So these two records is very important for email service, okay? So this is A, yeah, and then this is MX, okay? So record A and record MX, right? And then here's the IP address. Okay, so this is the example B, here's the destination, right? So I'm looking for, uh, for example, a user at examplebee.com. So it means that the domain is here. Okay, uh, examplebee.com, for example, and then, uh, sorry, sorry. So check the MX first. Okay, so what is the MX? Uh, mail MX means mail exchange. Okay, so mail x change okay so that's that's what it means record mx so uh, the record mx here is handled by mail dot example dot uh, tst okay test 
And then uh, we need to look up here, what is the IP address of here? So that's why we need another, another uh, record to translate to resolve from the DNS to the IP address here, okay? So that's the that's the uh, process again. So you are looking for this um, this uh, a domain, and then from this domain you are looking for mx record for that domain, and then this is what you get, okay. And then from here you do another lookup, okay, okay. Uh, what is the IP address of this uh, particular? Uh, record and then from that you get the IP address okay once you get the IP address and then you will send the destination IP address uh, send the email to the destination IP address using SMTP protocol okay okay is there something wrong no Okay, so again, uh, you're sending uh, through SMTP with the, uh, using SMTP protocols. Okay, so SMTP is a protocol between MTA. Okay, so this is MTA. Here's another M MTA. Okay, uh, inside is the M MDA. Okay, so from here the email arrive and then at the destination. Uh, the user will use a Thunderbird to fetch email from here to here. Uh, in order to fetch email, there are two protocols. Either you can use POP or IMAP. Okay. So that's how email works. So email system protocol. Well, here is the protocol involved, as I said. Uh, we rely heavily on DNS, so this is layer seven. Okay, this is layer seven. Either we use a DNS or a SMTP. Where is SMTP here? Yeah. Okay, and more, actually this is more uh, like uh, POP3 or email. IMAP, sorry, IMAP. And then uh, on layer six, Okay, so layer six responsible for a presentation, including the encryption. Okay, so yeah, so um, yeah, in, in my opinion, uh, TLS is uh, is here. So it's is how how data is represented. Yeah, either it's in in plain format or encrypted format. That's the definition of presentation layer. Okay, so it is here. Uh, normally, uh, with SMTP, there are two types. Uh, you either you can use uh, a TLS or or uh, uh, a plain plain SMTP. So both of them are running in port 25. Okay, on layer four, uh, there will be TCP. Okay, so there will be a handshake, and then on network layer we have IP, okay? So if you want to be a uh, um, email server, uh, the, the uh, person that is responsible or managing the email server, uh, these are the uh, basic or core core protocols that you need to be, you need to understand, okay? Right. Okay, about the SMTP protocol itself. It started from RFC 821 and then uh, uh, obsolete by uh, RFC 2821 here. So it is here, okay, April 2001. Okay, it was, yeah, obsolete. And so, uh, yeah. So this RFC uh, 2821 uh, obsolete the previous uh, the previous RFC previously, okay, and then also will be obsoleted by this. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, internet is 
is is what is it? Is is an uh, uh, I think it's still it's like a it's a like an organism. So it's keep improving. Okay. So in the beginning, when you see the details, RFC eight two one, uh, not so many explanation with the SMTP. Okay. Uh, started from two eight two one, and then you start to uh, see uh, MTA, MUA, and then. Uh, uh, many uh, detailed explanation about how uh, the uh, email uh, service works. Okay. Uh, next is email server with uh, front end. So actually, it's like a previous one, but we have additional uh, note here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as a front end to the user. So uh, you are here. Okay, so this is user. Okay, so the user is accessing the front end. Okay, so mail dot blah, blah, blah. And the mail here is accessing the email server. So uh, the object here that I just circle is the MTA. Okay. Uh, so similar when you accessing a, a mail.google.com, yeah. So mail mail.google.com, okay. So that one is this, okay. But the MTA is different server, okay. All right. Okay, understand. So this uh, for for yeah, with this um, our architecture, we can we can scale the email system to to be able to handle many users. All right. <clears throat> Next is about Linux email server. So let's talk about. So previously we talked about the uh, protocols. Okay. Uh, now we talk about the stack. So the implementation about those protocols. Yeah, so these are the protocols, okay, and the DNS. Yeah, DNS, SMTP, POP3, IMAP, SSL, TCP, blah, blah, blah. So actually, uh, what we care is about the application, right? The app, so which is here. Okay, so, uh, uh, at least you you understand you 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 understand how the protocol works, okay. After that, you need to know how the software works, okay. Because the protocol is just a protocol, okay. Protocol is the the way protocol works is just a bunch of documents like this. So how how protocol works? How the protocol looks like in the real world? It looks like this. It's just a, a bunch of documents, okay. With uh, yeah, with, with with lot of text. <laughs> yeah, this is how, how how protocol looks like. Okay, so they, they explain how how you send the data, how you receive the data, and then what about the uh, headers? Okay, uh, when you send something, uh, what are the error code means? Okay, so those are the uh, um, uh, how, how protocol looks like. Okay, so. Uh, based on the explain, explanation on the protocol, so the programmer took that one, took the uh, a protocol, and then they write to their own stack, okay, uh, to the programming side. And then here it is. So for you, if you are managing DNS yourself, at least you need to be able to uh, manage Bind. So Bind is a, a DNS software. Uh, very famous in the Linux system. Either use Bind or Power DNS. Okay, so for the MTA, either you can use uh, Postfix. Yeah, this is very popular. Okay, I use it a lot. Or you can use Qmail. Uh, it was done a long time ago. Or Sendmail. Yeah. So <laughs> when I learned Linux for the first time, uh, I use Sendmail to send send email. But uh, we don't use them anymore. Okay, so. Uh, if if I uh, uh, if somebody gives me a task to set up an email server, uh, I will pick uh, this postfix. Okay. I have 
some uh, chat here. And no understand from Zul Kifli Ahmad. Well, I think you don't understand because as I said in the earlier, in order to understand the email, at least you already comply with this prerequisite, okay? You know how the computer network works, okay? At least you know how, what is the difference between ping and trace route, and then uh, you are able to uh, use some application that is based, uh, a network-based application, right? Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's not the questions. Uh, just saying that you don't understand. Oh, okay, really sorry for that. Perhaps you can uh, share here what you thought, um, why you don't understand, so on which topic you don't understand. Next is, uh, is this webinar recorded? Yes, uh, it's live on Facebook. Uh, you can check our page, Facebook page, just type YLC Networks on Facebook, and then you can find our live streaming. Uh, you can see the upper left where there is a red recording sign on. Oh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. Okay, we have YouTube channel as well. So as a YouTuber, uh, uh, we, we usually say, please like, share, and then turn on the bell notification. <laughs> uh, share, subscribe, and then uh, press the bell. Okay, great. So hopefully that answered the question. Okay. Right. Let's continue. Sorry for that. Oh, I think it's a it's a time for um, sharing the access. So let's make this webinar more useful. Okay. So uh, please. I will share only for those who are joining the webinar on Zoom. Okay, I'm not sharing anything on Facebook. So please guys, if you want to log in, join our uh, Zoom webinar. And then I already share how you access the uh, a server. Okay. Okay, please try. Please be careful when you type the password or you can just copy and paste, but be careful. Do not add additional character. All right. Okay, do not add additional character. Okay. So uh, that's the SSH access, so to the MTA. So that's our MTA. And then the username is blah uh, with an x x you can change it to 11 to 19 okay that's the password and then that's the pool all right yeah if you still don't understand well i have to say you need to comply with these prerequisite things okay uh the the, the, the information that i just shared just now is uh, is an access to um, to our MTA where you can uh, where you can do something uh, related to the uh, topic today. So again, back to the stack. Uh, yeah, the DNS and then the MTA. Okay, uh, proc mail. Yeah, uh, some some people using it, some are not. Okay, uh, and then we have the MUA. Uh, this is very easy, okay? Uh, not from the server side, but uh, this is more on the uh, client side, the user. Uh, either you can use Thunderbird, uh, very, very famous, uh, that software, it's uh, open source. It's available on uh, uh, either on Linux or, or Windows, yeah. And then we have web app, sometimes uh, this is the MTA, okay? Uh, and here we have a web application Okay, web server, okay, uh, uh, and then uh, this is the user. Okay, so uh, if the user is too lazy for using the MTA, uh, MUA, and then they can just log into the web server, HTTP something, and then uh, the HTTP here will access the MTA. Okay, so yeah, so this is the web app. 
FF is this. Uh, for the software, you can use Squirrel Mail, uh, Hor, or others. Okay. Uh, also, in the MTA itself, okay. Uh, usually, we apply uh, spam filtering like Amaphis, uh, Spam Assassin, or R Spam D. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is this is one thing that you need to do also uh, if you want to configure your MTA. And then also we implement antivirus, antivirus on MTA as well. So for this one, because we are using Linux, uh, you, most likely we use the Clam of Clam AV. Uh, what about Zimbra? Yeah, Zimbra, good, uh, good one. So Zimbra is, so, um, okay, before Zimbra, before Zimbra, so what you do is install the OS, okay, and then install the postfix, okay, and then install everything here, okay, so this is, will, uh, this thing will be installed manually, okay. But with Zimbra, yeah, we also use Zimbra. Uh, it's quite heavy, yeah. Uh, Zimbra will install everything for you. So everything here is already included in Zimbra. So you just install the operating system and then running the Zimbra, Zimbra will install the antivirus, install the spam, spam filtering. Uh, sometimes uh, here, uh, you, you can install a D, KIM, okay, install the, uh, yeah, DKIM. Uh, in here, we need to support with the DNS, okay, because we need to add uh, a DNS, DNS, uh, what is it? A DNS record for a DKIM, okay, or also with SPF, okay, and so on and so forth. Right. Uh, Mail Marshall. Uh, I, I just, oh, um, I'm just hearing from you, Mel Marshall, perhaps a similar, okay. And then also there are distributions that also includes the email settings on their, on their uh, uh, distributions, okay. It's like uh, uh, Zoho, yeah, uh, previously there was uh, Apicop, uh, ma many, many, uh, uh, distribution, Linux distribution, uh, that is bundled everything into one single distribution. So they, they already uh, set up like uh, interface so that you can just uh, install and then run, as simple as that. So otherwise, otherwise, you, you will, because look guys, uh, to be honest, uh, talking about email si system, see here, is complex. I say I'm not. I'm not. I'm not scare you. Okay, <laughs> this is complex. Okay, complex. You need to understand a lot of things. Okay, uh, sometimes uh, the file system is already 100%. So you have to extend your file system. Yes, you need to understand the the <laughs> the Linux file system. Uh, you, uh, for example, the LVM, right? <laughs> So for example, you already allocate uh, 30 gigabyte for email and, and it's already uh, 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 occupied 100%. So you have to extend. If you don't use LVM and then, uh, yeah, uh, end of the world, okay? Uh, this is another problem, okay? So yeah, um, you need to understand how to uh, first uh, to configure the bind, okay? Uh, and also a post fix. Uh, previously, you still use QMail, and then you have to compile everything yourself. <laughs> and then the proc mail. Okay, after that, you have to integrate with the uh, Amavis. Okay, or Spam Assassin or Spam D. Okay, this, so this is new one, replacement for a Spam Assassin, because Spam Assassin requires a CPU uh, uh, a power. Oh, okay, I forgot here. Uh, I think maybe we can put Nara here. So we can we can uh, we can uh, also configure. We need to configure like a dove code, okay? Dove code, dove code for 
uh, IMAP. Yeah, yeah, I forgot here, IMAP or, or POP3. Okay, either you can use Dovecot or you can use Courier. Uh, others, uh, yeah, there are, there are alternative, uh, many alternatives over there. The same thing also uh, for providing IMAP or POP3. Okay, so again, uh, email system is uh, quite complex. Okay, uh, so that's why you need to have a, have a prerequisite uh, for, for, for email system. All right, uh, I have a question here. Would you like to explain various type of record for email server? Well, actually for email server, minimum you need to have a record A record and MX. That's it. Okay, nothing else. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, next is what else? What's the difference between Dovecot and Courier? Just the difference, uh, 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 different applications. Okay. So they just they are, they are running. They do provide a POP3 or IMAP service. Okay. Right. So let's continue. Okay, tips and tricks. Uh, don't make, don't make your email server open relay. So open relay is very dangerous. Uh, if spammer knows your email server is open relay, and then they, they can uh, use your email to send their spam. Okay, so this is your MTA. Make sure your MTA is not open relay, so they can send something, and then you will be the agent, and that will forward there. <clears throat> their their message okay use strong password okay because uh, many many implementations uh, rely on uh, i mean many many um, uh, uh, security problem in email server it's just because of the lack uh, the the, the uh, uh, lack of uh, of I can say a weak password. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the appropriate way to say that. It's a weak password, like one two three four five, uh, Linux one two three, uh, uh, admin one two three. Uh, those kind of easy email, uh, easy easy password. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for you, in order to send email through the MTA, yeah, you need to authenticate through uh, through. Uh, to uh, your MTA, yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, next. Uh, oh, okay, uh, another, yeah, email server, okay. I have question here, what is the SPF? SPF is a mechanism uh, for make sure that the email server is uh, coming from legitimate, legit, legitimate IP address, okay. Um, so we talk, let's talk about SPF. So this is the MTA, MTA, MTA target, okay, uh, uh, receive, okay, Re recipient, okay, and then this is the MTA, MTA sender. Uh, but also this is MTA. Sender as well. Okay, so this is true, and this is uh, fake. They are also sending here. Okay, with different IP address. This is IP one. This is IP two. So this is from uh, glcnetworks.com. Okay, and they are sending also from glcnetworks.com. Yes, it is possible. Yeah, you can spoof that IP address of the uh, sender IP, uh, sender sender domain. Okay. But uh, what, they, what they can spoof is the IP address because you have to send something for an IP address, okay? So when they receive here, okay? And then the recipient will see, oh, okay, you're coming from this IP address, you're coming from this IP address. With SPF, okay, uh, with the record of, uh, with the help of SPF, the recipient will, will, uh, will check, okay, which email coming from legitimate IP address. Okay, uh, that was the S SPF. Oh, I think uh, there must be a, a, 
a different session for SPF, DKEM, and AMARC. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, for DKEM is uh, uh, we have we have uh, uh, we we talk about security, more security. Uh, so when sec uh, when we talk about security, security, okay. So we have to define what is security, and then you have to. Yeah, we need to have a, 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 a legitimate source that defines security. Usually when we talk about security, we talk about CIA, yeah, confidentiality, integrity, and then authentication, okay? So confidentiality is done by encryption. Integrity is done by a hash, okay? And a hash technique like SHA-1, MD-5, uh, SHA-256, or other things. Uh, for uh, confidentiality, uh, we can do like uh, RSA, uh, uh, triple dash, okay, RSA, okay, triple dash. So those are algorithm for, for an encryption, okay. And then for authentication, it's like uh, you can use username and password or you can use token and uh, so on and so forth, okay. So DKIM is uh, is used uh, to provide integrity, uh, yeah, integrity uh, for uh, uh, for an incoming email, okay. Yeah. So uh, to make sure that uh, it's it's use it's using it is using um, it is using. Uh, uh, a key, yeah. So we have a private key and then public key. Okay. So the recipient will receive the public key and then checking the integrity of uh, of of the incoming email. Okay. So uh, DKIM DKIM is embedded in the email itself. Okay. DKIM is the email, while the SPF. It's not embedded the email. Uh, it's just uh, saying that okay, you're coming from legitimate uh, IP address. All right. Uh, DMARC as well. Okay, can explain about the queuing like shadow NDR. Uh, queuing about what? Yeah. Sorry, I, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, next, I can't log into the SSH server. Uh, most likely, the server blocks you. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So what you type here is life X. No, yeah. <laughs> that's not how it works. Okay, so you have to change the X into a number. Okay, so change the X into number. The number can be from 11 to 19. Okay, let's share a full screen here. All right, so let's Let's log in to the server. Um, okay, the The port is there. Oops, connection refused. Oh, okay, I wrongly typed the DNS. Okay, great. <clears throat> So guys, this is my this is my uh, login. Uh, so hopefully you can see it, right? Okay. So I successfully log in to the MTA. So our MTA is this. Our IP address is being live practice dot lab dot glc networks dot com. Okay. So this is our IP address and then our domain. Oops. 
Oh, I need to change the DNS. Uh, right. Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, it should be okay by now. Yeah, so we need to have uh, DIC. Uh, we, we first, as I said, we need to check the and to check the DNS, right? So if I want to go uh, to this domain, dic minus tmx, okay, for a domain, live practice dot lab dot glc networks dot com, okay, and then here it is. Oh, okay, wrong domain. Yeah, see, so I'm asking. So I want to send. So I want to send email. So here it is. Okay, so I want to send email to this domain. Okay, and then I want to know what is the email server that is handling email for this domain. Okay, and then uh, I ask to the. Uh, the uh, DNS server, uh, in this case, is the Google at eight 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 eight. Okay, so Google reply. Okay, so I want to send email to this domain. Okay, so I'm asking to Google. So what is the mail exchange of this domain? Okay. So I want to know what is the MX of this domain. Uh, okay, I got a question here. Can you resend? Uh, it's in the group chat. Okay, you can scroll up. So uh, here's the process. And then the status of the request is, is successful, no error. And then I'm, uh, this is the question. So I'm asking something. I'm asking the MX of this domain. Okay. And then here's the answer. Okay. So uh, the, um, the domain here is handled yeah, by this one. Okay. Uh, this one here. Why, why did it type twice? Oh, okay, I made a mistake. Okay, in the DNS. So let me check again. Um, yeah, yeah, I made a mistake. So I have to put dot. Okay, let me update the DNS. Ah, yeah, 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 correct. I forgot to put the dot. So I, <laughs> I should put a dot here, okay? So otherwise it will add the uh, a main domain. Yeah, 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 I made a mistake here. Okay. Okay. Let me save. Yeah, it takes time to... Uh, To, uh, to update the DNS, okay, but it's already done. Uh, just restart the the DNS server. Yeah, so uh, in this uh, in this scenario, uh, we are we are handling our own DNS. We are handling our own uh, email uh, for this particular domain. Okay, it's safe, and then stop and start. Stop and start. Yeah, it should be okay then. Okay, so, ah, okay, so this is, this one is correct. Okay, so it's supposed to be like this. So uh, what if, how, how do you write the, uh, 
how do you do you update the how do you update the record okay uh, well in if you are using bind and then this is how the record looks like okay so you can try to ping the address oops sorry Oh, it's hang. Sorry, thanks. Okay, I need to log in again. Oops, too big. Okay, so I already log in again. Not sure what happened. Okay, so it's done. Uh, so I do, yeah, dick, yeah. And then also dick the A record, A record of this. Okay, so this is the IP address. All right. So, uh, so we are at uh, at uh, MTA. So I'm logging to the MTA directly. So what I can do is to send an email to a to a Google, for example. So what I can do is I can use Alpine here. Alpine is is a software for sending a, a, an email, okay? So here I can use a, a compose message, okay? A2, yeah, it, it, it's like a, a going back many years ago. <laughs> Margentia at gmail.com, okay? And then uh, that's, that's from Alpine. Hello world. Okay, so I can use a control X for send, control X, send message, yes. I check my inbox, nothing happened. Okay, and then press Q for quit, okay. Also we can use mail Q for checking the email Q. Oops, live 20. Oh, okay, it looks like my email is blocked by Google. <laughs> wow. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, cannot make it work. Um, other domain, maybe. Yeah, so as you can see, email, uh, Gmail is uh, blocking our email here doesn't have any authentication information or false to pass authentication checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, or maybe we can, uh, we can send to our, our other emails. Like, oh, okay, maybe you can send to my email. Right, right, okay. So others is you can use mail X, for example, ilham at bash 20 dot com okay test from live practice all right blah 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 hello world okay here you can use control d for sending okay and then check the queue and then uh, this email is on the queue, email queue. Okay, let's check again. Okay, it's already sent. Okay, hopefully it will reach the destinations unlike Gmail. <laughs> Sorry for that. So please check on your inbox because when I'm sending email to Gmail here, 
HTML blocks my, yeah, because uh, this is very simple email server. Actually for uh, the real email service, I need to put, uh, I need to add some many things like uh, DKIM, SPF and so on and so forth. I need to provide authentication. This is just for, for uh, 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 a proof of concept where I can send an email. All right. Um, also from the other side, okay, I can, for example, send to, so I'm using live 20 at live practice dot lab dot glc networks dot com. Okay. Uh, test from Google, hello world, world, and then send. Okay, it's already sent from my uh, Google. So hopefully it will re reach the destination here. I can check Alpin, folder list, inbox. Oh, it's not coming yet. not yet received. Perhaps uh, your email server uh, put the email on the spam. I'll pin again, check inbox, nothing happened. Oh, that's strange. Or others, uh, perhaps you can do like uh, sending email from uh, send email to, sorry, Alpine. Okay, we can send email to local, okay, like live19 at, um, what is it? Uh, live practice dot lab dot glc networks dot com, okay. Subject test one, two, three, and Hello world from live 20. Okay, you can uh, do control X for sending, send message and then yes. Oh, nothing coming. Really quit, yes, and then Uh, we can log in to to live, for example, live nineteen, for example. Okay, here it is. Okay, same thing. I opened our pin. Oops. Check email queue. Okay, still a uh, block by Google. Okay, and then check the folder inbox. Why does it work here? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so live 19, I'll pin inbox. Oh, nothing happened. Well, guys, so it looks like today 
our email server has a uh, has problem so can i will send to email to you okay so can you share again where i can send to Okay, so my email, my email address is live20 at live practice at dot lab dot glc networks.com. Okay, so here it is. I will post it in the group chat. Okay, so that you can try to send the email to it. Try. Hopefully, there are some mailbox coming. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps uh, we can do another webinar for uh, for this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to prepare the practice uh, furthermore in the future. Okay, it's just like uh, like uh, setting up the DKIM, SPF, and so on and so forth. Okay, done. Uh, what is it? You're sending email to me. Okay, let's check. Other, you can use MUTT. Oh, I haven't installed MUTT. Yeah, usually uh, it's available here. Oh, so that's why it's live practice. <laughs> Ah, that's why. So I made a mistake, man. Oof. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, I made a mistake configuring the postfix. Now I'm checking again. Uh, nothing happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to stick here. Oops, sir. I think we are running out of time. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. It's more than one hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, let me finish this okay. one first and then uh, okay. I will close the session. No yeah, I made a mistake uh, no worries, during sorry. the configuration. Okay, I will, uh, I need to restart the post fix. So, Let's check again. Yeah, see, uh, now it is okay. Yeah, so I made a mistake on postfix configuration. Now it's okay. So this is test. Uh, I will send also uh, to to Ilham, for example. 
test from live practice. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hello world. And then control D. And then off we go. Okay, so I'm sending here to this. And then check. So there is no email queue. So email already sent. So please check on your side. Hopefully everything is okay. Also, perhaps I can send again to um, gmail.com. Try it. <laughs> That's hello world. So see, okay, and then check. Okay, sending to gmail.com. Checking, oh, we already sent, great. So let's check from Google side. Ah, here, okay, so as you can see, there is a new email coming from here. See? Finally. See? Finally, yeah. <laughs> so from here, okay, received by Google. Now I will do the opposite. Okay, so I will reply. Hello world from Google. Send. Okay, it's done. Hopefully it will be received by the live practice here. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, nobody is sending email. Okay, so let's check Alpine inbox. Okay, so it is mail delivery. Uh, it's saying that it's undelivered mail. Oh, okay, so Ilham at bus 20 detected as a spam. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's why. That explains why the why the email uh, never receive, uh, never reached your inbox. Okay, let's check again. Nothing happened. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so I think that's all. Guys, uh, yeah, it's time to finish our lab today. Uh, I think it's very, very interesting. Uh, for those who are, uh, wants to uh, check the, wants to, to uh, wants to uh, develop a wants to develop the uh, a mail mail service uh, basically you can just uh, configure the postfix here okay you can set the destination to this and then set the origin uh, origin is this one and so on and so forth and then uh, off you go you can uh, send email to the destination yeah, as simple as that. So just install Postfix, configure the Postfix, and then uh, yeah, you're done. Okay, anything else? No? I think uh, we have we finished. Uh, I think it's time to have a picture time. <laughs> Okay, picture time guys, so please turn on your camera. Right. So, so we are done. Yeah, thank you very much. So where is my email received on spam? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so again, uh, uh, email server looks very easy. Yeah, long time ago, it's very easy. Okay, so when I uh, I configured my first email server in 2002. Yeah, many, many years ago. I used Postfix and then not so many configuration, but now it's very complex. You have to set up the DKIM, you have to need to set up a, um, like, a, like a fail to ban, okay? So if somebody log in several times, fail several times, the IP address, the IP tables uh, will block the IP address. Okay, so uh, that one uh, to, is useful to uh, stop the attacker coming to your MTA. Uh, Google's, of course, uh, it will have 
uh, more sophisticated uh, technique for handling this pump. Right, so let's do the photograph. Okay, one, two, three, thumbs Smile, up. Smile, everybody. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. And then Someone the second page. There, Mr. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. So, guys, thank you very much. Uh, this is the end of the session. So, hopefully, yeah, um, you get something from this webinar. Well, this webinar is only for one hour, and then we already exceed one hour. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, so, see you again in the next webinar uh, next week. Yes. Hey, Don't guys. forget to uh, check on our website for the updates. Oh yeah, yeah. All the updates yeah. will be posted on the our website. Our website. All the recordings, yeah. the slide uh, that will be, we'll be posted there as well. Use here uh, already available yeah. there. Okay, again. Uh, thank yes, you very much. Thank you Good very evening, much. and then have a nice day. Goodbye, Bye. everyone.